As we welcome you back to the Thursday Night Showcase presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The Illini with a 25-24 lead over number 17 Ohio State. Both teams came in with four-game losing streaks. Both teams offensively looked like teams they came in with four-game losing streaks. Dare we go through the stats in that first half when Ohio State shot 29% and the fourth leading scorer in the Big Ten was 0 for 5. Take us there, Farnham. Well, you look at the stats, and they're going to paint a picture for you of a, of a game that has struggled at the offensive end of the floor. If you're looking on the positive side, Joseph Bertrand has been that guy. He's got 10 of the 25 for Illinois. And I think Amir Williams had a productive first half with 5.6 rebounds, 4 at the offensive end. But the numbers just aren't there right now. I think Seth Greenberg said it well at halftime. He said both these teams are, are playing not to lose. Someone's got to seize the moment and play to win in the last 20 minutes here. Let's see who will be the aggressor. And as they work it into Egwu, and he fronts Williams. And then kicks it back out to Abrams, rotating the rice. He's still looking to score. And that went right into the corner, backboard and rim. Does not have his shot on tonight. And he'll stay with Illinois. Well, he came into this game 5 for 20 in the last four games from beyond the arc. And so far, 0 for 2 tonight. I, I think Revante Rice is at his best when he is using his upper body strength, aggressively attacking, and get himself to the free throw line. That was knocked away by Shannon Scott, leaving 19 on the shot clock. And to, to further exemplify that point on Rice, in their two conference wins, he was 18 of 24 from the free throw line. He's only attempted 15 free throws in their four conference loss, losses. Egwu, quick turnaround. And Kraft came up with it. So he gets it to head to Scott. And Scott was denied by Rice. A great way to make an impact. If your offense is struggling, find a way at the defensive end to be active. He saved two points. Kraft just chucked it ahead thinking Scott would be there, and he wasn't. Abrams now. And he will go to the line. Second foul on Kraft. Aaron Kraft with the anticipation turnover here. The dribble drive, lose control of it, expecting Scott to be out there, but threw it too far ahead. You see Abrams misses the first. He made three free throws tonight has. Illinois. Well, two point lead for the Illini, and neither one of these teams has been able to create any separation since the game started. See if Lenzel Smith continues his hot shooting. Throwing around, and missed the shot. It'll be the Illini ball. as he went challenging Williams that time you know I love the aggressiveness though attacking the shot blocker one thing you can do to put a shot blocker back on his heels is to go right into his chest and that's what Abrams did on that drive 6-2 guard taken to the 6-11 big man He's had his moments, shown some confidence, and he gives them a four-point lead. Well, four of seven shooting on the game, and uh, as I mentioned in the first half, when you look at Edgar, he is the one player, really, for the Illini. I know he's not leading the team in scoring right now in this game, but he has been the one guy to step up, and when his hands touch the ball, he is looking to shoot confidently. And there's a three on the other end from Lenzel Smith. That's his third three of the game for Lenzel Smith. Back to that one point margin. Agu again as they work it in. 
inside. Matched up with Williams. And Abrams, instead of the roll, he takes it himself. He did a nice job actually, actually utilizing Egwu as a shield of the shot blocker to step on through and finish that one off the glass. Abrams. And it was all too easy for Quinton Ross. Swing it around the rice. And it's an egg wound. And he turns it around over Williams. Well, they're playing through the big fella here in the early stages of this second half. Every possession, Egwu has been able to get his hands on the basketball. On your center now with 10 points. Here's Williams on the other end. He fakes it in. So the big men getting involved here early in this second half. Abrams turns the corner. Back around to Bertrand. Start up with Smith. And good hands by Shannon Scott. Yeah, it's high -five. But it's been equal underneath for Illinois in the early stages here in the second, getting his hands on the ball, being confident with it. A little shield and a little screen there allows the dribble drive action. And then next time down, a little half hook. Feeling good. One point lead to the lineup. And the status of Adrian Payne unknown at this time. Tune in to ESPN Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Watch College Game Day. We see the field. It's covered by State Farm. That's the news everybody's talking about today. Brandon Dawson moves the tip by Edgar that wouldn't fall off the miss by Rice with Brandon Dawson, Michigan State's athletic forward out. Four to six weeks, they're saying, with a broken hand. Williams misses the dunk, but it bounced all the way out to Aaron Kraft. Now into the hands of Rice. Uh, that should have been a surefire too. Undoubtedly. That, I mean that he's not gonna find an easier look. By the way, Rice for Illinois is now 0 for 7. There's Kendrick Nunn, good looking freshman. Talked about that great high school program Sinini comes from, and Jalen Tate came along with him down in Champaign. Brings it back to a one-point deficit. A good job by LeQuint Ross working off that high ball screen to the strong side block, and Aaron Kraft with a good whip pass underneath. And there's Kraft doing what he does best. And he finishes on the other end. And the Buckeyes are up 35-34. Defense turns the offense for Aaron Kraft. A freshman mistake by Tate. He threw a freshman pass. He get away with this in high school, but you don't get away with it with Aaron Kraft. He jumps in the passing lane and finishes, and the Buckeyes are up in front by one. Playing outstanding basketball with three really strong guards. Tyler Ennis, his contributions for Coach Beheim this year. Fred Van Vliet at Wichita State and T.J. McConnell at the University of Arizona. Ohio State with their first lead this half, 35-34. And there's Kraft again, just like he left off. And they got back defensively, and Thad Mata was looking for a call there. Felt like it was up on the rim, should have been a goaltending, says coach. Well, a good job, once again, being active with his hands. Maybe not a better player in college basketball and anticipating and playing the passing lane with active hands. A quick strip, gets his hands on the ball, but it comes up to nothing on the opposite end. That touched the glass there, Sean. Tough to see from the angle in which we saw. So quick on that last possession. They're gonna get Egwu with a foul, his second. Did this touch the glass here when Kraft came down? It goes up and no, it didn't.
That was clean by Rice. What an effort by Ravante Rice. A couple of times he's made great defensive plays in transition here in the second half. It's the second time he blocked Scott's attempt earlier in this half. Up take Ross and then jumps into 14 feet. But it wouldn't go for him. Follow up as Iki came in, but he couldn't get it to slam home. Other end now, pushing it, Smith. And Lenzel Smith with 11 points. Aaron Kraft asking his crowd to respond. A good job throwing the ball ahead and attacking. A 6-0 run for the Buckeyes. Into the post, Egwu. Rebound, Smith. Thompson coming around. Three ball goes. It's amazing what can happen with just a little bit of confidence. It's amazing what can happen when you push the ball up and the defense is scrambling. Ohio State has been able to do that on the last couple of possessions over the last two plus minutes, making it a simple basketball play. Get the ball up, throw it ahead, get out in front of the defense, get yourself a layup, and then on the next possession, a little dribble handoff, and suddenly a shot that hasn't been falling starts to go down a little bit easier, and the energy comes back, the bounce in your step comes back a little bit. And for both of these teams who entered this game, losing their last four games, it seems like Ohio State right now is gaining some of their, their momentum and their bounce back in their step. Some of 12 shooting in this second half, a 9-0 run. Six-point lead for the Buckeyes doing it with a bit of balance scoring as Smith with 11 Ross with eight Williams with seven and Kraft with six and Kraft had a nice assist there to Set up Thompson See that 58 percent shooting here in the second half after that Struggle to have anything go their way in the first 20 minutes But they played the first half in the half court set everything was a grind in the half court Don't be afraid to try to create and push and manufacture tempo and opportunities. Shot clock down to six. And a turnover as Ohio State looks to keep momentum. A 9-0 run for the Buckeyes. Trying to snap that four-game losing skin. Senior guard Aaron Kraft, a big part of the spark for Ohio State here in this second half. Well, just active hands. That was from the first half, slapping the ball down, and he's been very aggressive, playing the passing lanes, officially two steals, but distributing the ball well. Four assists for him on the game. And that one is where Ohio State needs to take better advantage of on a more consistent basis. Get, get your hands on the ball, run the lanes, Aaron Kraft's going to find you. Held by one at the break. He only scored 24 points in the first half and now shooting 58% in this second half in the midst of a 9-0 run and a six-point lead. Zone defense by the Illini changing up the look. It was the zone that gave the Buckeyes trouble a week ago at Minnesota. Scott, 18-footer. Rebound by Iki. We'll see if Illinois can start to create some tempo for themselves just like Ohio State had. Mm -hmm. 
Long ball by John Eakey. Stops the bleeding for a moment for the Illini. 36% from behind the arc on the season. Hit a couple of big threes early this year against Dartmouth. He had gone over four minutes without scoring, and then that. It makes it just a one-possession game. Six on the shot clock. And they're going to get Mark Loving coming up top. Mark Loving grabs there. Zone D's first. Zone defense very effective. Last two possessions offensively. Good job executing a quick screen on ball. And then you find Iki sliding up into that wing position. His feet were set and he was ready to go on the catch. Always challenging, denying, put forth effort. You know, when Eric Kraft is overplaying as much as he did on that possession, a little back cut, get him leaning one way, bring him on the high. Ross Smith and the big man Williams check back in to the Buckeyes. Ten minutes to play, three point lead. was swiping in as he went up. It was Rice, and you know, watching them at the offensive end floor of the Illini right now, they need that young man to score. Revante Rice needs to start making an impact at the offensive end of the floor for them to win this game on the road. You look at his numbers coming into this game, averaging over 17 points per contest. He's yet to score. 0 for 7 tonight. Smith. And he's been hitting the threes, and that one's visiting the shot clock. And it's going to stay up there. How <laughs> many times you see that, Farnham? That thing's Velcro to the top of the support. Usually, usually we have a camera up there that'll show you that view. All it's right, somebody grab a broom. Let's go old-fashioned here, and somebody get a broom out there. This goes right off the rim, bounces off the shot clock, and stays there. And They're going to need a big man to help out with that broom, though. Egwu struggling to get it with the broom. He's 0 for 4 with the broom until that attempt. <laughs> <laughs> they took a 6 foot 11 center and a broom to get that thing off of there. And then they took him out. Yeah. He knocks the ball. On, you can't earn playing time I mean, for you, that. You got to get at least another minute out on the floor with that. Let's see. Now, I want to get Ravante Rice the ball. I want to set an on-ball screen for him. I want him to drive. I don't care if he draw, drives into three bodies. Just explode up. Get himself to the free throw line. Something. You got to get yourself going offensively tonight. Get rid of that goose egg. Tough to believe they're only down four with the night he's had. Bertrand, not bashful at all, and why not? Second time in this game that they've had a poor offensive possession, and Joseph Bertrand has been able to bail them out in both times with a three-pointer. The first half at this end, and on that time, he actually lost the ball, then was able to get back in bounds in a scramble situation to knock it down as the shot clock was about to expire. Brown. And he matches. Those quick hands of crap, but he gave it right back up. 
And Iki comes up with it, and Bertrand cleans up the garbage of it all. A complete scramble situation. And Aaron Kraft got knocked to the floor as the Alana able to make it once again just a one possession game. One possession game here, 7 17 to play. Aircraft has done it on the defensive end of the floor, gets involved on the offensive end, stretching the D. It's a two point lead for the Buckeyes. And we've got ourselves a 44 42 game here. Ohio State up to Joe Tessitore. Sean Farnham with you here in Columbus. A much better flow in this game in the second half for both teams. I mean, their shooting percentage dramatically improved for both of them. 53% right now. The big difference has been the perimeter shooting three of four in the second half for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Lenzel Smith, a big part of that with his three three pointers. He has 11 points. Joseph Bertrand has been solid for the Illini with 15 points. The zone was effective. For the Alana, they go back to their man to man. Scott working against Bertrand. Here's Smith. They're working against Ross a little bit more here in the second half. He turns on Rice and pushes it right in. Four, seven, 11 points for LaQuinton Ross. Been a pretty balanced offense. Kraft with nine, Smith with 11, seven for Amir Williams. He Bertrand continues his hot hand with 17. Not a balanced offensive approach for the Illini, and Bertrand has been their guy. Edwu, the only other Illini player in double figures, he has 10. Scott got caught up on the inside. Left his feet. The trees were waiting for him. And Abrams and the whistle. That's exactly what you want to do. When you drive to the lane and there's a shot blocker in the middle, we saw it earlier. I said it was a great drive by Abrams, even though it got deflected out of bounds. This time he goes right back at Williams, able to draw the contact and able to finish at the rim. Nice job. And a chance now to take the lead. That foul is on Amir Williams, sending Abrams to the line. Or that Bertrand had hit the last three field goals. And he front rimmed it. So we remain tied here at 46. Sixth time we've been tied up here in Columbus tonight. In an offensively challenged game for the first half, but a much more entertaining second half of ball. Graff works it around. Scott sets up Ross. Three pointer for Q. Continue to be red hot from the outside. Four or five here in the second half. And an excellent job setting that up. And now the turnover. As Kraft pushes it ahead, Scott leaves it for Ross again. Iki, well off the mark that time. Really seems in the second half, Eric Kraft has been around the basketball and off a lot of the defensive end of the floor. Deflections, steals, rebounds. Playing Ohio State's kind of basketball. What Thad Mata said they simply need to do. Has missed now his last two after having that big moment. <laughs> Aircraft once again with the rebound. That's six rebounds now. For the senior guard. In 30 seconds on.
won eight straight games following that six and four start to the season. They are six and zero oh in conference play. Michigan State seven and zero, oh, but they got some tough news today concerning Brandon Dawson, Sean. Well, and you look at this, and how about this team right here, Minnesota, and the job that Richard Pitino has done with the Gophers. DeAndre Matthew has just done an outstanding job coming in, especially last night against Wisconsin. Dre Hollins goes down on the opening possession, and Matthew comes off the bench and ignites the offense all night long. Now they got, they have got to go to Nebraska. You see Nebraska all the way down to the bottom. They're one and four in hey, conference play. They're much better than the one and four. volumes of the how good this conference is. Folks, that's how you measure a conference, what they are from top to bottom, and you get nothing in this conference but quality opposition each and every night top to bottom this is a tough night out Orlo goes back to the zone they went to it went to it for about three or four possessions did an excellent job forcing Ohio State to utilize the shot clock a good steal by Smith up ahead to Scott and he puts it in with that left hand and it goes to a five point margin for the Buckeyes. You get your stop defensively, you secure possession. You've got to be able to get a shot up. Instead, they turn it over. And denying that entry was Smith, but they're going to get the foul there. Well, defense leading the offense for Ohio State. Lenzel Smith missed the three, but got the steal. And when he got his hands on it, you throw it ahead. Here it is, good defensive reaction. Throw it ahead and finish. Buckeyes with the lead. 51 46 Ohio State. The senior Aaron Kraft, a big part of what they've been able to do in this second half. Nine points, six rebounds, four assists. One of those four year kind of guys. Well, it's not even four years, it's one college for four years. This is my endangered species team. You look at Aaron Kraft, CJ Fair, Doug McDermott, Pete Happley, Russ Smith. Shabazz Napier, I really wanted to have six players on it if I could. He's been great at UConn. Uh, but these are guys that have been committed to their universities for four years and have had outstanding careers. Aaron Kraft, one of those that stands out. That was a good look underneath the Bertrand as the Illini able to score off the inbound. Where would they be without him offensively in this game? Point night for Bertrand. Oh, wow. Number three, picks up. In the day and age where we see players transferring, leaving colleges, going elsewhere, and those four guys, five guys that I had on that list, all stayed at the same college. And Doug McDermott, the numbers that he's putting up. How about Creighton the other night against Villanova? Yeah, so impressive. Ethan Rogge from behind the three-point line doing what he does best. Only two made two-point field goals all season long for Ethan Rogge. There's Williams now as they feed the big guy. And loose ball underneath as Ross fought for it and draws the foul. That was good work by LaQuinton Ross. Not giving up on a play, staying with it. Amir Williams trying to battle underneath, gets the ball knocked out as he goes up, caused him for the miss. It looked like the Illini were going to be able to corral that rebound instead. But Quentin Ross goes to the free throw line. Fifteen tonight, four-point lead, and nine of fourteen from the strike. Abrams on the drive, and he will head to the line as Williams came over defensively. Has not been Abrams' best shooting night, but I certainly appreciate his aggressiveness. The third time in this half, Tess, that he has driven down the lane, able to pick up the foul. The third personal on Williams. And he 
hits both. So just a two point lead for the Buckeyes. Two and a half to play. These critical moments for two teams that are desperate for a W. Four game losing streaks for each team. Shot fake as Ross then drives and gets it to go and will go to the line. A great job once again by LaQuinton Ross. A little shot fake, split the defense defenders and able to finish it. It starts with great ball movement. Look at the way the defense is having to rotate and scramble to try to put out fires. Good job. Rice. As Ross converts there, and it's a five-point lead for Ohio State. <laughs> Offensive. What a miserable night it is for Ravante Rice. <laughs> Nothing has gone his way. Nothing has been fluid. Extending out the arm ever so slightly. You watch that off arm as he dips his shoulder and then extends out. He's 0 for 8 with four fouls. Has yet to score in this game. And he's the fourth leading scorer in the Big Ten. Instantly, that was critical with 62 seconds remaining to get it back to five. And they will exhaust their final timeout, taking the full here. LaQuinton well, Ross here in the second half has started to make an impact at the offensive end of four. Being aggressive, it started inside. We started to gain some confidence, get the ball off the glass, posting up hard. And then he was able to step out. He knocked down a big three in a pivotal moment. There's the drive and kick for it. And then you utilize the shot fake and you drive in. A nice second half for LaQuinton Ross. Ohio State in the midst of their longest losing streak since February to March of 2008. Four straight. They have never had a five-game losing streak under Thad Mata. And right now they're trying to bring this one home and put an end to that tough stretch they've been on where the shooting went south and they've had to find their confidence and stride again. Both teams have improved dramatically with their shooting here in the second half. Ohio State shooting 54 percent after that 29 percent outing in the first 20 minutes here. Gross, the longtime assistant for Thad Mata. Trying to come up with that plan for Illinois to make a comeback here in the final minute. His teams execute these late game situations usually so well for Illinois because they practice it on a consistent basis. But if they're going to make a comeback here with a minute and two left to go on the clock, it starts right now. They got to be able to get a stop on this possession. Kraft works it well. Smith gets it up ahead to Williams. There's an opportunity, and it goes right into the hands of Egwu. Now, can they cash in at the other end? In that situation for Ohio State, there is no need to make that pass. 
There was hesitation on it from the get-go, and when you hesitate, you just further allow the defense to get back in transition and get their hands on it. Williams could have held on, reset, wait for Kraft, but instead now, Illinois with a chance to cut it to a one-possession game. 48 seconds to play, trailing by five. Rice yet to score. He gives way to Bertrand. Bertrand for three. And the rebound goes to Smith. And now they will foul Aaron Kraft. Ohio State in the bonus. A missed opportunity for Illinois to try to convert off the turnover. Aaron Kraft in the line for Ohio State should be one and one. You know, Tess, we talked about this right off the start. Uh, Ohio State started the year 15-0. They lose four games in a row. And all of a sudden, headlines in the newspaper. What did we read again, partner? Now is the time to panic. Well, <laughs> now, I guess you can relax. you got to win. That's right. You know, and you look at the upcoming schedule. You mentioned it every night, a difficult night. Look at that. Penn State coming in Wednesday. And then you're at Wisconsin and at Iowa in back-to-back -back games. So it doesn't get any easier, but you've got to be able to carry away with you some of the momentum from tonight's game. And this one as Abrams came in there and stopped the clock at 21.9 with a seven-point margin. Kraft did his job at the line. He's got 11 points. Third Ohio State player in double figures tonight. And Abrams will go to the line. Last thing you want to do in a spot like this, stop the clock, send him to the line. It's four and Amir Williams tonight. Reminder that X Games Aspen will be coming your way at the top of the hour. There are four Olympic half-pipe athletes in action tonight. No Sean White. That was a big story. He's still got Olympians going. He's getting ready for the Winter Olympics. And he, you know, he's probably preparing something that's going to be spectacular in the Winter Games. Abrams connects there. So that is the men's super pipe elimination coming up at X Games Aspen after we get done here in Columbus. Of course, you got great college basketball action continuing on ESPN2 with number one Arizona hosting Colorado this evening. And Sean Miller was also on the staff with Coach Thad Mata back at Xavier, and obviously he's done an excellent job building up Arizona to be the number one ranked team in the country. He's done an excellent job recruiting, uh, but transfer impact for him, T.J. McConnell, and Nick Johnson playing at an outstanding level for the Wildcats. Now Agbu fouled out with 10 points and nine rebounds. Well, trying to find positives when you've been struggling and for Lenzel Smith he knows he hasn't been knocking down shots but tonight a different story you make your first you see the ball go through the net and all of a sudden it becomes a little bit bigger and you start to get some of that momentum back the offense opens up so much for Ohio State when they can stretch you from the outside and Lenzel Smith has done a nice job of that tonight and good for him because he was one of those guys people were pointing to and saying something's just off of it he was 4 of 25 on his three-point attempts in Big Ten games coming in well, it's amazing. From the line as well. And Tess, for a team like Ohio State, they're never going to be probably an elite offensive team this year. So you need your components to deliver what they can. Lenzel Smith needs to be that perimeter shooter. That opens up things for LeQuinton Ross that has the versatility. It opens up lanes as the defense has to shade out a little bit more for Aaron Kraft to drive into. 16 point night for Lenzel Smith. All the talk of the losing streak. The four straight. That'll be five straight for the Illini as Ohio State steadies the ship. A four night. big three pointers from Lenzel Smith. An excellent job tonight for Ohio State to grind this out in the first half. 
second half, their offense looked to be much more energetic, much more aggressive, able to get them the win. Smith at 16, Ross with 18, 62-55 Buckeyes. Coming up next, X Games Aspen. For Sean Farnham, I'm Joe Tessitore. Enjoy the rest of your night, including the X Games, right now.